Happy freaking Monday. I'm Ben Frisch with B Fresh Media. Get it? Huh? Got wings and everything. Today is a very special Halloween episode of Happy Freaking Monday. It's also special because it's not Monday. Hey, if I only miss one episode in 34 weeks, I'm still doing pretty good, I think. Cut me some slack. Anyway, today, seeing as I'm a bee, I thought we'd talk about generating buzz. Let's go. Generating buzz is essentially word of mouth marketing with a loudspeaker. The goal is to not only get people talking about your brand, but to do something that's newsworthy so that that word of mouth marketing is amplified by the media. This approach is appealing to people because that media exposure and word of mouth is obviously free, but that doesn't mean that generating a successful buzz campaign is inexpensive uh, or easy for that matter. It can actually be quite expensive to generate a successful buzz campaign, but here are four ways four ways that you can do it on the semi-cheap, maybe, uh, that will appeal to people's senses and their desire to tell stories and talk about your brand. Here's number one. If you're really brave, try doing something controversial. So this is not a tactic that I recommend a lot. In fact, I generally try to steer clear of controversy, but if it's well calculated, it could work in your favor. One of my favorite stories of a controversial buzz campaign was about a company called Acclaim Entertainment. It was a video game company that uh, created a series of video games around a character named Turok, a dinosaur hunter, of course. But they launched a campaign in the UK around a new game that they were releasing, and they announced that they were going to pay new parents £10,000 if they named their son or daughter, I guess, Turok. As you might have guessed, this caused quite a buzz. I mean, it's kind of funny, kind of stupid, and really only harmful if anyone took them up on it, which, as far as I know, no one did. The thing about this story, however, is that Acclaim tried this tactic again, and not only did they find the line of controversial marketing, they crossed it. So they took the same approach with another video game launch, and they offered to buy ad space on people's tombstones. (laughs) As you can imagine, the public and the media had a total heyday with it, and they quickly retracted the offer. So the bottom line here is that I don't recommend this tactic too often. But if you play your cards right, it can work in your favor. The second way to generate buzz is something that I do actually recommend doing, and that is something extraordinary. I know off the top I said that I wanted to give you budget-friendly options, but... I want to talk about this one example because it's so amazing, definitely not budget friendly, but one of my favorite examples of buzz marketing was Red Bull's Stratos stunt. Yeah, remember that when the guy jumped out of a weather balloon from the stratosphere over 36,000 meters above the earth and broke the sound barrier as he fell to the ground with a parachute? Yeah, you can't afford that. But wow, what a way to generate buzz. Something more budget friendly and realistic might be like a flash mob or an impromptu street performance. All you need are a couple of actors, singers, dancers, whatever, and somebody to film it. A flash mob is a great way to give your audience an immersive and unforgettable experience that they're certainly gonna talk about. And posting that video online is definitely gonna amplify your word of mouth. That's it for me this week. Stay tuned next week where I will share two more ways to generate buzz and get people talking about your brand. In the meantime, check out my blog at befresh.media where I'll share some video examples of flash mob and street performance campaigns. I will also share the Red Bull Stratos video, which also holds the record, by the way, for the most watched uh, live stream in YouTube's history. So, It definitely is a noteworthy campaign that you should check out. If you haven't seen it, I will have it at my blog, befresh.media. And see you next week. Definitely on Monday. Have a happy freaking Halloween. And we'll see you in the next video.